Welcome to a tutorial here on mechanism wheel programming. So these, this is a robot using mechanism wheels here. It allows it to go in all directions, omnidirectional robot. And the cool thing about mechanism wheels is you have four wheels that are each individually powered and these little spinny things here are like omni wheels except angled. And the angle allows us to make it so that when the wheels oppose each other in direction, the robot will go sideways rather than forwards. And when the robot's wheels are going towards each other, they'll go forwards and backwards as normal. Um, same thing, if they're going opposite directions, it will go this way or sideways, and then you can go in between directions, you can go diagonally as well. And that's all some mathematics that you have to figure out in the coding. So coding mechanism wheels can be particularly difficult to handle. That's what I'm going to go over today. Okay, so here's our code. It's set up like a basic program, basically exactly what we went over last time, except this time it's a four-wheeled robot. So we have everything here, four motors here, set up all these motors with brake, and there are cert certain things. Certain motors were in reverse, certain ones are in forward. So watch that because that is an important part to make sure you're going in the right direction. So continuing down this program, I created a simple double variable, which is going to allow it to be, well, not just an integer, but uh, so also have a decimal value and ignore bad spelling there. It should have a D. But anyways, besides that, this is going to allow us to adjust our speed. So that's a key thing if you want drivers to have control of the robot in precise movement, you might want to have the speed adjust in there because that will allow you to change the speed for more precise movement. We're going to wait for start, reset the runtime so that we can well, use the runtime to zero. I'm not sure if we actually use the runtime in this program, but that is definitely a good thing you want to do right before initializing or right during initializing. And now you continue into the op mode is active state, which is going to, it's going to start off with these statements. This is our D-pad, so it's a true or false, it's a Boolean value. And what I did is when it's on, you can only press it once and it'll increase or decrease, um, decrement the value of speed adjust so you can adjust the speed. But this is the part I really want to talk about here because this is all the mathematics behind whether or not which direction we're going. So I'm using the gamepad left stick and right stick and all directions. So what the code is saying here is the majority of this is handled by the left stick. The left stick Y and X are going to control its forward and backwards movement and side to side movement. The right stick X position is going to control its turning only. And so what's going to happen here is it's very interesting. So the way these mechanisms wheels work is if all four of them are going together, we're going to be going forward. And obviously that's what if we just cover up all this code behind this point. We can see that our left stick position Y is forward. All of these are going to be setting their speed to one, which is just going forward. So that part is good. Same thing for backwards. So with just this code, we get forward and backward mo movement. Now for just this part, well, what's going to happen is with our left stick X, we want some of the wheels to go backwards and some of them to go forward. So what's happening is two of these wheels are going to be opposing each other, going negative. Two of them are going to be going positive, and that is because the back wheels, if I'm correct, it is Yes, it is the back wheels, as you can see, left back and right back are going to be opposing left front and right front. So they have opposite values, uh, subtracting and adding them. Now if we add this part into it, what we're doing here is now handling the turning. So we want to orientate our robot in a certain way. That's obviously is a key part in FTC gameplay. So you want to see here, now we're going to be checking the what's happening is in turning is the left wheels go together and the right wheels go the opposite way of the left wheel. So you can see here left back and left front are negative, right back and right front are positive so they're opposing each other causing the turning motion. And way over here which is a little bit cut off 
in the program? Well, you can see we have our speed adjust, which is going to be turned into a, well, not out of 10, because I had it up here out of 10, so that the driver can read it pretty easily on the telemetry, which is going to print it to the console on the phone. So what we have here is our speed adjust is going to be multiplied by all of this in order to decrease the value. So if speed adjust is one, right? Or speed adjust is 10 is what I mean. It's gonna take that value, it's gonna be one, it's gonna multiply, it's gonna keep it the same in this way. And same thing here. Um, this is gonna be for adjusting the speed adjust again. I mean, oh, sorry, that's up here. Um, this is gonna be setting the arm power. We do have an arm on this robot. It's for lifting our robot off the ground. So that was, that's a pretty cool part of the program. Uh, it's just the D-pad up and right and down, not to be confused with the left and right D-pad. And then we're going to scroll down all the way to the end of this program, which is just our telemetry line right here. It's gonna tell our driver where their speed is exactly. And I'm going to show you an example of this robot running here. Are we have all of our